Mansion of Madness and Eminence in the Shadow of Shifting! Whoa! And yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you follow me on my Instagram, you guys should know I am back in Taiwan for the Chinese New Year. So yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure those who've been in my channel since 2020-2021, you guys should already recognize this background already. Yes, I am basically back in my Taiwan house where you get to see very familiar background that I did like my reaction all those years ago. Well, technically two or three years ago already. But yeah, I can say I am just so happy to be back in this room to do reaction for a month by the way it'll be in a month i'll be away from australia room yeah you can say i'll be back in taiwan for a while so hope you guys enjoyed this well at least we got some anime posters behind me so with that out of the way now yeah you can say today's episode is indeed the start of a brand new arc well mainly the fact i'm looking forward to see what this interesting tournament i said will be entering where you have this completely new look to him like we saw from the preview and it seems like rose is gonna play a big, a big part in this arc too from what i've been told from last episode so we're really looking forward to it because you know i love this show so much and we're now down to like the final five episode to the end of the season so yeah let's just see how it goes man so with that said let's get started actually, shall we Anyway, and let's get started shall we so let's just see what this final arc of Season 1 I presume has in store for us because apparently according to those read the manga or the light novel that this is the, the best arc to end the season with or something like that because it involves much greater issues for Sid to deal with. So I'm really looking very much looking forward to see how to kickstart the arc in 3, 2, 1, play. So okay, mid is in the afternoon already. So what's going on now? It's going to go for lunch. Oh, there it is. So I guess this is the Bushin festival thing. It's going to be involving some top fighters from different parts of the world coming together. This is the perfect time for Sid to show off his skill though. See, he's excited for it already. He's like, everyone's excited for it. <laughs> <laughs> that one's cool. Who, who's good? Oh, he's analyzing them. Okay, I see. He's analyzing the possible fighters. Dude, all of them look very generic and edgy, to be honest. This guy is really edgy. <laughs> Dude, Sid can beat every of them. There's a samurai too. Dude, Sid is like, yeah, easy work for me, man. Easy work. Minor, <laughs> Minor characters. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, Sid, remember this guy. Sid's life is to challenge strong people. And this is the perfect place for him to do so. To show how good he is compared to everyone else. Uh huh. See, exactly. His desire is to become the strongest ever. So, this is the perfect festival for him to show off. Uh huh. But, sadly enough, see, you know, he can be, he can show off, but, you know, he does not want to show off like that. I think he want to show off in a, in a different way, like, you know, as Shadow Garden. Oh no, as Shadow Sama. Dude. He's gonna he can disguise himself in some ways. There's no way he's just gonna walk into the Bushin festival to like fight people with his exposed face. The strongest man. <laughs> the stronger yet the weakest man. <laughs> okay, what interesting title. So I guess Gamma gonna do some magic on his face or something. Based on what I saw from the preview, of course. Hey. She's enchanted by Sid, man. Arichi sama. <laughs> oh my god, seriously, Gamma. Fix your walking posture already. Oh, oh hell, my king. Oh hell, my king. Uh -huh. Conceal his identity. There we go. He's going to do some plastic surgery on his face or something. Hmm. Of course, he can't. Oh, um, I don't think that's what he's thinking, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Finally, some facial makeup. Um, yeah, those slimes looks very fishy, to be honest. Okay. Oh my god. Dude, they're gonna experiment on his face, man. You destroy my, my boy's face like that, man. His beautiful, good-looking face. How dare you.
Oh my god, dude, he looked like a fat boy now. Look, look at the scientist, seriously. Is she really that lazy? Oh, that works. Average young man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, that's a perfect disguise for Sid because he has the same hair as Sid. It's impeccable. <laughs> I mean, of course, Sid likes to have an average person so that he can surprise them all. What? This is how they power the electricity? Are you kidding me? This is how they power it up? Oh my god, they look at mass scientists, man. Oh, it worked. Wow, that was... That was very effective. Looks super weak, but then, you know, he can show off his strength when he starts fighting them. Or basically make them look down on him. So it's Sid's like being a good actor right now, man. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, I guess. I mean, she is the brain of the, for the team. And she tripped. There we go. <laughs> Hard it, man. Hard it. Oh, God. That must hurt like hell. Hmm. Who is she? I know what now? Why does she look like why she, why does her character scream Sundere, to be honest? Her character literally screams Sundere, man. What? Oh Sid. Oh, she's gonna challenge him right now in the streets? Okay. Oh my god, dude, it worked! The disguise worked, everyone. The disguise worked fantastically. They look they literally underestimating him because of his look. Dude, it works. He sits enjoying it. I mean I mean you look weak, but don't judge the book by his appearance, but that's what he's saying. Hmm. Oh, another cocky guy, I see. Trying to pick on the weak person. Very, very typical. Uh huh. Dude, you're gonna get beat your ass beat by Sid, man. Or should I say, this disguise Sid? Can we fight? At least. Hey! Ho 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 ho! Oh shit! He actually said it out loud. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, this is all part of Sith act anyway, to make him like let his guard down. You know what I mean? See, exactly. See, mind games, man. Mind games. I mean, he's gonna get cut. Oh! I thought you're gonna get punched. Wait, did he actually punch him or something? Or is it actually just his thought right now? Oh, yeah, there we go. It's just his thought. Get punch, get punch. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. I caught it. Oh my god, my boy Sid, man. I know him too well, everyone. I know my boy Sid too well. He know he's gonna get punched <laughs> to let his guard to let the opponent guard down even more. Yeah, I mean, he will surprise everyone once he fights for real, man. <laughs> Thank you.
No, 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 no. This is what Sid won, okay? This is what he wants. Don't worry about it. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, did, weren't you? Did you get stabbed not long ago? <laughs> oh, he's healed. Oh shit, he actually healed up already. That was incredible. Your name is quite long, by the way. Average young man. <laughs> oh my god, average. <laughs> Average young man. Is there some trust of translation issues? Because that is just cringe, man. Average young man. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Oh, Sasuka sits somewhere, man. All oh, part of his plan to make people low, let the guard down. Around him, of course. Average young. <laughs> oh my god. I can't wait to see the looks of, of the opponent's face when Sid defeats him. Or her, I don't know, but yeah. The main this is just a preliminary, okay, fair enough. So there's a bigger one coming. Quinton. Ooh, who's Quinton? <laughs> oh, she's she, oh yeah, she is participating, isn't she? And she's the defending champion too. Oh man, this should be fun seeing Iris face against Sid if they, we actually get to see it. I'm pretty sure Rose will be, you know, losing her round though. Because I feel like this the, the scar in her chest will have play a big part in it. <laughs> Dude, is he paying or not? Oh wow. <laughs> he le he left and he <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, she's not gonna pay him man. Is that the is that the McDonald's of this place by the way? It looks like he has the same logo design though. Hmm. Oh, it's Rose. Wow, why is she doing the middle of the street? Was she stalking Sid, by the way? Oh, she's gonna meet someone later, okay. Dude, in McDonald's! <laughs> That's McDonald's of this Isekai world. What the hell? That's literally the same name, too. Those three still sticks around? I thought, I thought Natsume would be leaving them or ditching them. No, no, no. Nastimi says it's like staying by you, by your side to stock on you guys for information. They're rivals. What do you expect, man? Don't Alexia and Nastimi are rival. What? Uh, by the way, what were they rivaling over again? Big breasts? Sid? No, not it. Definitely, it definitely for Nastimi to sit though. Oh, seems like things can escalate between family members now. Oh, family. Oh, fiance. But she's not interested because she already has Sid. Oh, I can see where this is going. 
So you're telling me Sid's gonna crash land the uh, fiance moments or something? Hmm. <laughs> okay. The beautiful thing. Oh, Sid. Okay. <laughs> of course, he he was there to save her. Mm -hmm. I'm Shadow God. I am the Shadow Summer. Dude, Sid, why? What? What's with the plastic back on your face, man? You could just wore a mask or something. <laughs> Hmm, I mean, sure, he's gonna, he's gonna use you anyway, but yeah. See? He's gonna stick around with you just to gather info on your family and stuff like that, to be honest. I don't think Sid has any interest in her situation, to be honest, but she's just doing it, he's just doing it for information. I mean, a boy giving a girl a hamburger shows signs of respect and interest, if you think about it. Well, I guess this is time for Sid to like, go for the next round of fight. Dude, you should just bet all your money on Sid, man. Or oh, that average looking guy. That Sid call himself. So that he can win the money easily, man. Dude, why are you asking him for money just because he's rich? Oh, what the hell? That fool's just shiny looking guy behind him. Dude, undefeated legend, golden what now? I mean, he is wearing a golden armor, but... What the hell, man? This guy. He's like a very, how to say, cocky fighter. <laughs> oh my god, the tears, man. Like he just won the main, the final or something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Sid's like going and just check. Oh, there we go. I knew it. He's going to change and change the, the average young man. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, he's your typical muscle man, I guess. What the fuck? Wait, he can look through the power level or something? Then what is Sid's power level again? Average young man. Everyone, no one's gonna bet on him, man. This what? I mean, that's what Sid wants to be, a dark horse, okay? Very weak. Huh. Cause... He literally conceal his power or something. He only like gonna release it in the actual fight. Zero. Thirty-three. At least he got numbers, okay. Dude, you you're underestimating Sid. Ask he what he wants, of course. Oh, oh, it's over. Oh, see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What did he do? Uh, low, low blow him or something? 
Wait, did they just low blow him? No. Dude, they lost all the money, man. <laughs> oh. Oh, uppercut. Okay. That's it? Just an uppercut? That's it? Just a one punch? No, she actually saw it. Wow, she actually saw it sit like action. Holy shit. No, he did not. He did not. Stop bluffing. Why is this guy bullshitting? Seriously. He's bullshitting right now. Who oh, face me? I knew it. Dude, you're gonna lose and embarrass yourself, okay? Dude, he's cocky as fuck. What? What? He has a card that carries his sword for him. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> uh. Yep. All oh, according to Sid's plan, man. All oh, according to plan. Oh, uh, average young man is super OP, everyone. Don't underestimate him. Oh, he has, he has his mask ready, too. Well, don't let his friend enter the room, of course, but... What? Oh. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah, why? <laughs> well, maybe because, you know, she loves Sid so much. Or maybe she just got fed up with this sort of family politics. I mean, you know, rich people have mentality. And sometimes the kids usually get fed up about it. Well, it's now things got interesting now with Rose, I guess. Or maybe she stabbed the print, stabbed his fiance for a reason, though. We shall see in next episode. But just, but you just have to end the episode in the most cliffhanger way, just don't you? Stabbed her fiance, huh? Did she by any chance took Sid advice or something? No, Sid didn't give her nothing. But well, I mean, if you go back to the scene that she ha she had with Sid, though, let me see what she said. Um. I'm not uh, not being a willful child. Would you trust me no matter what happens? It was an honor talking with you, Sid. Um, okay. Okay, what? I mean, Sid only was there to give her some confidence, I guess. Will you trust me no matter what? Okay, I mean, maybe because of this conversation, did she say, yep, maybe I have someone that can back me up with my blame for what I'm going to do to my fiancé. And so that's why she took action. Well, I mean, fair play for her that she takes action, of course, to honor fiancé. But I have a feeling that she, there's another reason why she took it. Or maybe she, well, or something inside of her make her to do it. Well, we just have to see, man. I mean, she's on the run. Kind of fishy, though, you've had to say for myself. Because Rose is a very... You no, know, very pride as a person, so she will not just run away without facing the issue. So I really feel like there's something going on with Rose. Like maybe, like I said, like we saw from the last episode, that there's a scar on her chest. So maybe that is some influence by it. Maybe she have the blood of the Diabolo or something, or one of the heroes. Well, we just have to see, man. But yeah, I think something about her, something in her blood, is affecting her action. So that's why she stabbed her fiance. So. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to the next episode to see how Sid deal with it. But to be honest, I look from what I can see when Sid's eye, he's like, oh, okay, that happened. So what? <laughs> oh my god, my boy Sid is only interested in one thing, man. He's only interested in beating strong opponents by making him, underestimating him. Like, oh my god, dude, I gotta say, man, I like the fact that Sid is willingly, willingly allow people to beat the shit out of him. Like, Dude, he could easily defeat this dickhead right here, but no, well, not the not the girl, of course. But the, but speaking of the girl, I gotta say, she, I don't know why, but she just screams Sundar for some reason. For some reason, but 
I mean, you can just tell the way she's dressed. She's a very strong fighter that, to be honest, can lose to Sid. But, well, I don't know, man. She saw Sid's action. She saw Sid do an uppercut on the guy. So, she is a very sharp fighter. Maybe she will not be the one to underestimate the average young man. But instead, will fight him properly. So, I'll be looking forward to see whether or not she will fight Sid. I mean, I'm pretty sure she will anyways. I mean, it's written in the stars, man, with this scene right here. So... Yeah, my boy Sid, man. I mean, you have to give him full credit, man. So for someone to willing to get punched from here and there, well, just to hide your power level, hide your you know um, status, and make sure people underestimate you is just a, it's just um, like it takes a, a very bold uh, like confidence to do so. And my boy Sid is like really really brave to do it, man. Like I I would hate it to pretend to be weak to let people punch me, if, if you know what I mean. So, I mean, fair play for Sid, though. I mean, of course, we got Princess Iris going to be joining the fun, too. I'm pretty, I am pretty. I would love to see her face against Sid. Well, you know, the average young man. But, yeah, you can just tell that my boy Sid did what he needs to do to make his opponent underestimate him. Everyone underestimate him. Like, I don't think people even see him as a, as a dark horse, but, like, seeing someone like an easy opponent. But, well, people lost their money. You should never doubt a, a, a person that fight unless you see them fight for the first time. So yeah, I gotta say, man, I'm very happy for my boy Sid that he proved everyone wrong. All according to plan, of course. All according to plan. See, her face looks just like she's just, kidding, just a coincidence. Oh my god, I just can't wait, man, to see how my boy Sid gonna challenge even more opponents in the next episode. Because I have a feeling that this arc we're in right now is not just going to be like a very you know tournament like arc but we're going to be seized to come face to face with some very interesting um antagonists well one of them could be around row surrounding around row situation i guess so looking forward to that for next episode of course and with that said hope you guys enjoy my reaction smash the like button guys and i'll see you guys next episode for another great episode of ammunition shadow Ganey.